righty. So I wanted to come forward. I've been sitting on this information for about two, three days now. Um, and I've been trying to digest it and kind of deconstruct it to the best of my ability. Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's not the greatest theory out there. And I do want to say that um, I'm very fortunate to have a few sources in America. Um, and the sources that I've heard from are pretty reliable in terms of the information that I have have been given from them in the past and it turning out to be pretty accurate. And that's what scares me a little more about this theory. Um, but I am going to tell you guys right off the bat to take this theory with the biggest grain of salt. Um, I have not been able to verify this theory at all. Um, but I will say it aligns with um, some information that I have been given from inside Canada and uh, a change of plans for the 2025 coaster. And that's what's scary. Um, so um, on that, um, for most of you, you know that Canada's Wonderland was surveying about a launched wing coaster, um, subterranean themed into the mountain, blasting out and all around the mountain. Well, I can pretty much confirm, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, that that plan is no longer uh, in the works. Um, to be honest, I'd prefer it <laughs> over what I'm about to tell you guys. Um, but with that being said, I don't think the launched wing coaster into the mountain is a plausible option anymore. I don't think they're moving forward with that. Um, and if they were, um, it is a completely different design than what was surveyed. Um, and you're going to see that in today's construction update as well. But uh, I'm ranting. Let's get into it. So I've heard from some American birdies, in quotations, that are pretty reliable, um, that Canada's Wonderland was going to go forward with a few other manufacturers um, with a coaster design. There was a sudden change. The wing coaster was canceled. Um, and when searching for some manufacturers, a lot of them were too busy because this is a very last minute change of plans or was a last minute change of plans when they were approaching these companies. Um, and one of the very few manufacturers, again, this is all speculation. Um, this is all a storyline that's been fed to me. So take this with a grain of salt. I'm just going to say that again. But I wanted to get this theory out there just so you guys can, you know, if it does come to fruition that uh, we've covered this and I wanted to get it out there. Anyways, with that being said, um, one of the few manufacturers that was able to design and build a last minute kind of concept for Canada's Wonderland was Premier. Um, I know you're all groaning now that I've said the name. So um, a little rumor that I've heard is that uh, Premier, an American manufacturer, is behind Canada's Wonderland's new 2025 coaster. Um, and it is pretty last minute. So we'll have to see what that means. I do um, have to agree that with some of the last minute surveying we saw taking place at the end of the season in late summer, early fall, um, it does kind of align with a last minute change of plans. And I have heard from very reliable people that there was a, a change of plans. And I know I'll be able to confirm that for you guys later on after the project's announced. Um, so with that, um, the, the source um, from the state suggested that um, Premier is currently designing and building um, our new uh, launch coaster for the 2025 season and uh, they'll be doing so out of the um, let me get the name of the place that our track is supposedly being made Intermountain Lift um, is a company that designs track for SNS and Premier so from what I've heard our track is being installed at this facility that you see on the screen Intermountain Lift um, and yeah so if that's true, if this rumor does play out to be true, that's crazy. Um, that means I'll be able to trust this source even more than they've already been very trustful, uh, trustworthy to me. Do I fully believe it myself? Absolutely not. I'm going to be super transparent. Um, the reason I'm telling you guys to take this with a grain of salt is for two reasons. One, I don't like this rumor, <laughs> obviously. Don't like this rumor at all. Um, and two, uh, it doesn't align with the amount of work we're seeing. So a last-minute project... Um, is a really difficult thing to occur. Um, and I do not believe that there were no other manufacturers available to do last minute projects. Um, people out there will say that last minute projects don't exist. They do exist. Um, this has been confirmed by Canada's Wonderland before 
um, to me and other parks have had last minute projects. If you're willing to pay, you're going to get it done. Um, but seeing that it is potentially in the mountain, which again, wait for my construction update today. Uh, it'll be out later tonight. You're going to want to see it. Um, if it's in the mountain, um, that's a really hard project. Now, if it's an Extreme Skies Flyers plot of land and it's just on flat ground um, heading out alongside Flight Deck and Time Warp, then that's a different story. That's a really easy concept to whip up. But if it's in the mountain, I don't think that's so easy to whip up. So what do I think it could be if this rumor is true? Uh, either a Skyrocket 2 and Wonderland really cheaped out and went with just a Skyrocket 2 and Extreme Sky Flyers Pot of Land, or a better, bigger LSM version of Max Force um, as well, starting in Extreme Sky Flyers Pot of Land and heading out somewhere. What am I really hoping for? A Zamperla. Um, I don't believe the rumor that there were other manufacturers. All, every other manufacturer was too busy. Um, I think there are a lot of manufacturers out there that could have done something. Um, I'm not going to touch on this other rumor I've heard on the reason why our project changed. Um, I'll touch on that in my Patreon newsletter um, in great detail. But yeah, so I just wanted to come out and uh, give one of two of my theories. So there's going to be another video that comes out very shortly why I think Zamperla might end up being the manufacturer. But I needed to get this theory out there as well first just because it has fresh off the rumor mill. Um, and it comes from some very reliable American sources. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, comment down below um, what you think. Do you think that there is a high chance this could be a premier attraction? Or do you think they're going to go forward with Zamperla? Or do you think it's going to be another manufacturer? I want to hear from you guys down below. Comment your thoughts. I'll try and respond to as many as possible. Um, but yeah, so I know. Bad news. <laughs> not the news we wanted. Not the news we were hoping. But again, take it with a grain of salt. Please take that with a grain of salt. I know some people like to say, oh, well, you said this, you said that. I always say when to take things with a grain of salt, and I'm telling you to take this with a grain of salt. I am just presenting to you guys what I am hearing from some of my sources, um, and these specific American sources are pretty reliable, unfortunately, but fingers crossed that they are not so reliable right now with this specific information. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.